Hello, I'm Gabe Vasquez, and this is People in Perspective. Welcome to the program. Today, here with me is Mr. Duffy, a history teacher and coach here at Riverside Brookfield High School. Thank you for coming on the show to me. Thanks for having me today, Gabe. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get right into questions. Um, so what sports do you coach? Uh, at Riverside Brookfield, I'm coaching wrestling, football, and I just jumped on the baseball staff this year. So previous to that, um, I had been at Hinsdale Central High School and I had been coaching the same three, so I wanted to get back into it here at our BHS. How long have you been coaching? This will be my, ten I think this past fall was my 10th year coaching football. This was my fifth year coaching wrestling that we just finished up this past winter. And baseball, this will be my eighth spring doing baseball overall. So a little bit of variance between the sports. Oh, nice. Uh, what do you coach in football? Like so my entire, going back a few years, I had started, I was coaching freshman linebackers and uh, working with some wide receivers in the offense. Most recently, about the last five, six years, dating back to Hinsdale Central, I've been working with the defensive line. And then this past fall at RBHS, I worked with the defensive line, was the defensive coordinator here. So I kind of took on a different role as well. Oh, that's nice. Um, for wrestling, how long have you been coaching with wrestling? So being my fifth year coaching wrestling, um, I've only ever worked, I worked in the varsity room at Hinsdale Central one year, and then I've been working with the lower level wrestling freshman JV for the past four. So that's kind of more my area of expertise in there. And for baseball, this is your first year, right? Yeah, it's my first year here at RB. So I, being new to RB last year, I took the, uh, I took the spring off. It was kind of nice to have a season that was just off and got to focus on the classroom part missed it so I came back here to coach baseball and wanted to hop on but I've been doing freshman baseball mostly. And how's teaching? Teaching's been really good. Um, again I've had a lot of roles since I got to RB so I came in as a social studies teacher last year but uh, through like a series of events I ended up teaching in the applied arts department as well last year second semester so I picked up consumer which consumer economics added like a whole nother level of kind of stress to me because I never taught it before um, but it's picked up recently. I'm working in three different departments right now between social studies, special ed, and applied arts. So there's a lot going on, but it, it's working itself out. How do you manage your time with like all these different things? Um, one of the things I do is I, I get up really early in the morning, but mostly the way I balance it is I use my summers. When we're not in school in the summer, it's been a really nice time for me to get ahead of myself, like knowing that I'm going to be teaching these classes coming up in the fall. I use my summers a lot to, to get on top of my lesson planning and try to get as much prepped out as far out as I can, knowing that my, my after school time is, is usually booked you know, with sports. I get a couple of weeks here and there when one season ends before another starts. But mostly the summers are really, really important to me as far as getting lesson plans set, getting materials gathered, and all those kinds of things, getting notes, presentations put together. So really, my, my summers are vitally important to that. Oh. Um, how long have you been teaching? In um, teaching in the classroom, this is, will be year five for me, but working in general in like an education, working within a school, this is, I think, my eighth year now. So oh. um, it's, been, it's been an interesting process, though, to end up in a social studies classroom. How long have you been, is this your first year teaching special ed? It is my first year teaching special ed. So I got a special ed designation. I went back. I only had three classes to finish to get my special ed endorsement. And I'm not going to get into like the whole process, but I went back and got it a few years ago. And um, they had an opening here at RB that would have helped me out and brought me from a part-time social studies position to full-time staff position. So through just like a process of events, I ended up getting to be able to put into special ed department as well. It's my first year doing it, so I have the classes done and I carry the endorsement, but uh, it's been a huge learning curve just working in special ed because there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of things that need to be done that I haven't done before. So taking on the special ed role this year added like a, a lot to my plate, but it, it's my first year doing it. It's been great, people have been great, and helped me out a lot, but it's, it's been a big, a big learning curve as far as figuring out all the things that are a part of the special ed department. So what led up to like you wanting to coach and be a teacher? I think, well, it, for me, I knew what I wanted to do. So some people, when they leave high school like, and they go to college or whatever their next step is, they're not entirely sure what they want to do. 
for me, the minute I left where I went to high school, I went to Hinsdale Central, and the minute I walked out the door to, to go to college, I knew that I wanted to be a high school teacher and I wanted to be a, a coach because my experience at Hinsdale Central was was really good. I had a positive high school experience. I really liked the football coaches I had, baseball coaches, the wrestling staff that I got to work with. And so many of them were in particular, for whatever reason there, they were my social studies teachers. And I had a passion for that subject anyways. So to me, the path was clear. It, it kept me involved in, in sports, which I, which I love. It got me into the classroom teaching a subject that I really love and am interested in. So it was kind of a no brainer for me that when I was leaving high school that I wanted to do that. So my journey started like almost immediately, you know, I'm 18 years old and it was, you're applying to colleges, you're getting your process figured out. But I knew kind of then what I wanted to come back and try to do, so. What college did you go to? I went to Lewis University, which is right down in Romeoville, Illinois. So I spent one semester, well, I guess I went to two. I spent one semester at Wisconsin Whitewater and then I transferred to Lewis University down in Romeoville. How was your college experience? College experience was great. Um, I went up to UW-Whitewater with the intention of playing both baseball and football, and uh, I just made some foolish choices regarding my academics in the uh, first semester, so made a personal choice along with my family that it was best for me to just come home, transfer to Lewis University, and maybe just pursue baseball going forward. So my college experience, though, I was nervous when I left Whitewater because I really liked it there, but when I got to Lewis, it was a fantastic experience. You know, a mid-year transfer, though, when you get there is, is a little uncomfortable because you're new to the setting, you're new to the campus, you've got a whole new group of teammates, but it was a really positive experience overall. All right, well that was really interesting learning about you today. Uh, thank you for coming on today. I really appreciate having me on, thank you. Well this has been People in Perspective. Thank you for coming on the program. Uh, and that's it, see you next time.